so today i have picked up a question which is asked in facebook or facebook or meta amazon apple google also in microsoft okay five companies have asked this don't think it is very old even in last april 2022 april also they have asked this question Welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Vasanth. I hope you all doing well. So, as you already know, this is a video series where we are discussing about the most common interview questions that are asked in Mang. Mang stands for Meta or Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Okay. So today I have picked up a question which is asked in Facebook or Facebook or Meta, Amazon, Apple, Google, also in Microsoft. Okay. Five companies have asked this. Don't think it is very old. Even in last April, 2022 April, also they have asked this question. Okay. So it's not. Uh, I have already discussed solution to this question in different ways uh, in my articles and also in one of my video. But in this particular video, I am going to give her all. all together different approach towards that problem this is very very important video if you are preparing for mang interviews please watch this video till the end okay without wasting further time let's get started so this video is mainly on flattening the array in javascript okay so in my medium blog i have already written a beautiful article to explain how to flatten a given array in javascript okay so to be very precise if given this as an input 1 2 comma 3 5 6 7 which is a nested array or array of array so you should flatten it that's the requirement okay i have written a recursive solution here in my previous video where i have explained a custom implementation of array dot flat even there i have written a recursive approach itself but in facebook interviews they have asked both solutions like an iterative solution also a recursive solution okay so in this video i'll be discussing the iterative approach so in same interview for the same candidate they'll ask both approaches to it the reason being how many different solutions that you can come up for a single problem okay that's very very important when you are applying for companies like this okay let me start by explaining you the flat first so it is here as you can see so if you run so this 3 comma 4 went away if you don't pass anything inside the flat it is considered as zero hierarchy okay so one level of hierarchy it will remove not zero hierarchy one hierarchy one array inside this array will be removed one level of hierarchy if you pass infinity then it will remove all the hierarchy no matter how many array inside an array it will remove all the arrays and it will just make sure the entire array is flattened okay so this is about the array dot flat and what uh, recursive approach for this i have already shown you here how we can write a recursive approach so there is also iterative approach which i have taken from here okay i have not written this logic i have taken this logic from here itself i assume if it is documented here this could have gone through lot of iterations and best minds of the world might have approved this so i am also picking the same and i'll be explaining you how to do that okay i'll link this also in the description so that you can go ahead and read by yourself as well okay also my blog where i've explained the recursive approach very clearly also i'll link my youtube video where i've explained the recursive approach now without wasting further time let's get started but before i start writing the any code for the flattening if you are someone who is seriously preparing for javascript related interviews like view angular node react etc so i would highly advise you to go ahead and watch my basic interview questions so i've linked that on the screen also in the description so 20 plus videos which are most commonly asked across all the companies okay and how to approach that problem what mistakes can they do how to avoid that all of that i've explained the series if you don't watch that and directly landed here the problem is this is a advanced level questions so companies like mang are asking it correct so if you have not watched that and directly landed in this video problem is you may not go to to this level only in the interview because every interview starts with the basic question if you are answering the basic he would go for the advanced if you are not answering basic question itself then there is no point correct so watch that series and come to this video okay also i have created another video series on the custom implementation so how to write your own array dot map method array dot flat method array dot concat all of this okay so please watch that series also that is become very very trendy question across all the high paying jobs now implement your own functions watch that series also and come to this as a next level of further preparations okay now without wasting further time now let's get started so crux of the logic i'll explain first so you have an array a nested array okay 1 2 3 4 okay so 3 4 is a nested array okay inside the entire array what you would do is you will get the last element of this okay by just array dot pop okay array dot pop would give you the last element correct 
so you can log blast then what you would do is you will push that value push that array back into the uh, the source array but without using the array brackets so how you do that is array dot push you will just spread the last okay so what this does is 3 comma 4 will turn into 3 comma 4 okay just the array bracket will be eliminated due to which the output will be if you log it now array it will be 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay that array bracket will be gone so this is the crux of the logic so what you would do is you will take the last element and insert it back to the array if it is an array if it is not an array in the case of 1 and 2 it is not an array then just push this values into a result okay let me run this so you are seeing 3 4 was the last correct this was the last 1 2 3 4 is the array that is the final output so this is the crux okay first you should always try to find out the crux or a repeating pattern in the question with which you can form a solution so now you know the crux with this logic you will be implementing the actual um, uh, implementation okay so i don't need this so i'm removing i would need this the two statements i'll i'll keep them okay function now i'll create flatten array flatten array is my function okay which will take input as the input array so i would call flatten array from this log okay what i would do is i'm using a variable called stack actually it's a stack based approach only stack i think most of you know first in last out okay arranging of plates you pick the last plate in the first now here it is in a spread operator okay so here usage of spread operator is because not because of anything any significant reason it is mainly because this input is used uh, not to use the same reference of this array okay they want to use a different array reference here so you are using dot 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 input here okay as array passed always array is passed as a reference and not by value okay now now it's very simple what you would do is you also need an, a variable to hold the output const response is this okay then you have a while loop inside which you will check and you will run this till stack is not empty okay then what you do is very simple same like you will get the last element from the stack by using the stack dot pop okay here two two things are possible one array is one, one the last value is an array second last value is not an array correct so if and else see i have practiced this solution before giving explaining you guys but otherwise also i will have a solid bifurcation of the problem correct so first i know the crux then i know what are the major two conditions if this condition what i will do this condition what i will do an algorithm should think algorithm should run in your mind then only you will be able to write an efficient code okay so please do follow in this direction uh, whenever you are thinking in the interview now if first you need to check whether the last element is an array so you know array dot is array method is available which will help you to identify that so i'm passing last here so if it is not an array in this case one and two are not an array you can directly push it into the result correct result dot push you are pushing the array of sorry you are pushing the last value correct if it is an array then also you know by the crux what you need to do correct you will push the value back into the stack only thing is you will extract it only thing is you will use a dot operator just to get the remove that array bracket spread operator you'll use to get the values out of the array okay then you have to return the result only thing that you have to make a change here is you have to reverse the return the reason being you're popping the values putting other way you're iterating the array from the last so you have to reverse it and you have to send it as a response okay first let us run then we'll see what is happening so three comma four is happening let's say i put five here yeah so it is flattening okay so that's about the crux of the logic and how to flatten the array in a iterative approach okay so so wasn't why pop can we not do this by using the first like uh, rather using the last element can't be used from the first element obviously you can do that also like uh, you would uh, start iterating from this keep pushing the values then whenever an array is encountered then you can um, uh, you can follow the similar approach even that is also possible okay i'm just sticking to the mozilla approach considering that could be the best approach possible okay so if you like the content that i have made in this video please do like this video on youtube channel do not forget to share the videos with your friends and 
please do subscribe to my channel uncommon geeks that will help me to make more such good content i also link my medium blog this in this video link in the description please do subscribe to please do follow me on the medium as well okay i'll be putting the solution in my github repository you can copy that and practice on your own okay thank you again for watching this video catch you in the next one